our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Russell, 4-0 and oh in his UFC career, is a year older than Verdum. Verdum, three inches taller. They're about the same weight, but Fabricio Verdum will have a four-inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this heavyweight matchup. Behind the back, behind the back. Fabricio Verdum. Fighting at home here in Brazil for the first time since 2004 against Mike Russo. Russo. From Chicago, he is in the black trunks. Verdum is in the white trunks. Verdum threw a total of 91 strikes against Big Country. The fourth highest total in UFC heavyweight history. And a lot of his damage was with the knees and in the clinch. And he looked for it right there, Joe. Uppercut. Good right hand by Fabricio. He and clipped Russell. Yes, he did. He's got Russell backpedaling early. And again, he's looking to tee off. Russell is a big, strong wrestler. And he, and he, he really outgrappled John Olav Inamo in his appearance at home in Chicago on Fox. And, and we kept saying during that fight, Joe, wow, he's going right into his opponent's bread and butter. He did say, did Russell, though, that if it goes to the ground, he's okay with it, but he would rather not get into that bag of tricks of Fabricio Verdun. Yeah, that's a different animal. Yes. Although John Olivinamo is also an outstanding jiu-jitsu practitioner, I think uh, Fabricio might have him by a notch or two. Yeah. Fabricio looking to finish with the knee. A nice left hook a moment ago, though, by Russell landed. And Fabricio, Fabricio most certainly has it in experience. For sure. Russell ties up. Verdum's last fight here in Brazil was a knockout win in 2004 over Ebenezer Fontes Braga. And the crowd cheering on Fabricio Verdum again with that lead left. Yeah, what does Fabricio's nickname mean? What does Vicavallo mean? Go horse? <laughs> it means go horse. Go horse. Brazilians are so odd. Yeah. <laughs> Toquinho Tristão. We had a guy earlier tonight on the prelims on FX whose nickname meant Casper the Ghost. <laughs> One of them meant Brazilian Redwood. Yeah, there's not. Some are not so, uh, <laughs> they're not so um, positive. Oh, oh big clip. Big clip. Trying to finish Russell here. Caught him with the right. Big shots by Verdum, trying to finish his fight. Hammer fist. That's it. That's it. It is That's all it. over. Fabricio Verdum, victorious in his homecoming. He almost flew right over the octagon there. Yeah, that was tricky. Fabricio Verdum finishes Mike Russell in the first round. And when you know how durable Mike Russell is, it makes that all the more impressive. Fabricio, as we said, has made leaps and bounds in his improvement of his striking. And that's uh, just more proof of that. Started with the big right hand. You see Rafael Cordero, Fabricio Verdum with the win. Joe, let's take a look at our fight replay. Fabricio throws that inside leg kick, and I believe it was an uppercut. Yup, there it is. Right on the jaw, drops him. I mean, that just shows you what kind of power and how much improvement Fabricio Verdum has made in his striking. And here he finishes him off with punches and hammer fists until Herb Dean has seen enough. Huge, huge victory for Fabricio Verdum, especially the way he did it. He almost, almost injured himself there. Fabricio Verdum wins impressively in his first fight at home since 2004. Scores the first round TKO, handing Mike Russell the first loss of his UFC career. With the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 28 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Fabricio Macabello. Congratulations on this big victory. 
and a, a big victory, especially in that you stopped one of the most durable guys in this division with your strikes. How happy does that make you feel? I'm here. Okay. I'm very happy to be here in BH. I was very well received. Vocês me deram a motivação, por isso que eu consegui nocautear. Só falar o vai cavalo, Deus o livre, rapaz. I'm very happy to be here in Belo Horizonte, and just to hear all the crowd shouting Go vai cavalo is making me really happy. I'm sure that this is also making your trainer, Rafael Cordero, very happy as well. As you see how much your striking has improved. Let's take a look at this stoppage here. You caught him with this brilliant uppercut. Talk us through this. Hey, é nóis. Boom. É nóis, é nóis. Tô muito feliz. Tô treinando Muay Thai com meu professor, que é da Kings MMA. Eu moro em Los Angeles, mas o Brasil para mim é tudo. Galera, vocês não têm noção. Eu queria que você sentisse o que eu tô sentindo agora. Só um pouquinho. Impressionante a felicidade que eu tô. I'm training a lot of Muay Thai, and I just like for all of you to know how happy I'm feeling. It's really, really emotional for me to be here. I, I live in Los Angeles, but to be in Brazil, it really makes me happy. Congratulations on your victory. Can't wait to see you again. Só quero que tenha uma oportunidade. O UFC me deu a oportunidade de lutar contra o Cigano. Tenho todo o respeito por ele, mas ele é o campeão. E nós estamos aí, Cigano. I just said I'm really very happy and Cigano. I'm here. I know he's a champion, but I'm ready for him. Fabrizio Verdum, ladies and gentlemen.